Hello everyone, my name is Brandon, and today we're going to talk about those bolt kit orders that you fulfill outside of our system and how to make sure that they qualify for our new Trailblazer program. So the first thing we want to do today is figure out how to get to Newskin Connect's desktop version from newskin.com. And the reason is the desktop version will allow you to upload contacts from a spreadsheet. The mobile app will not allow you to do this. On newskin.com, you'll first log in, and once you've logged in, it should show your name up in the upper right-hand corner here. You'll select the drop-down menu and go to Volumes and Office. Once this loads, you should see an Office section on the left-hand side here with Resources right underneath Office. Select this and then select New Skin Connect at the very top of that list. This will open a new window for you to sign into New Skin Connect. The login information is the exact same login information you use to get onto newskin.com. Once you're signed in to connect, you should see different tasks here in the daily. Now, to upload a spreadsheet, we're going to go to the Contacts section. Select Contacts at the bottom, and then we're going to select this Add button in the upper right-hand corner. That will give you a drop-down, and you'll select Import Spreadsheet. Now, before you try and upload anything, I recommend that you download a sample spreadsheet. When you click on this link, it will give you the exact format for your spreadsheet. If you don't follow their spreadsheet example exactly, it may not upload your contacts correctly. Let's open up this spreadsheet. Here we go. And you can see that they have first name, last name, email, phone number, birthday. You get the idea. Now you don't have to have all of this information. You just have to have at least the name and one form of communication. So I believe I have a pre-made spreadsheet full of fake contacts. So if you already have an existing spreadsheet, you just copy and paste them into the sample spreadsheet and then save that to upload. So all I have to do is drag that file into this section here and click Upload. You can see it's going to display the first few contacts on your spreadsheet. If everything looks good, you just hit Import and that will add the contacts to your account. Depending on how many you have, it could take a minute, it could take several minutes. So now lastly, let's go and see how to assign one of the bulk kit orders that I've purchased to one of these customers. Let's use Andrea Miller as the example. So first, we'll go over on this left-hand side and click Assign to Order. Now you'll notice that I've purchased a Dramatic Effects bolt kit package as well as an Instaglow bolt kit package. Both of those showed up within minutes after purchasing it. Let's pretend that Andrea Miller purchased a AgeLock Dramatic Effects and a Sunrite Instaglow tanning gel from me. Since she purchased multiple items, I will want to select this Select multiple option and then I simply click on both of the products. When I click assign to order I can type in Andrea's name there she is and I sold one of each. This price shown right here is just for your records let's say I sold this for $30 and I sold this one for $18. If you don't change it, it will just automatically break down the price for you. So next I'll click Next, 
I'll type in when the order date was. Let's say it was on the 18th. I can add notes if I would like, and this will attach to her profile so you can see them later. Also, if you have certain tags, you can add those here. And then when I hit save here, it will automatically put Andrea into our customer care cycle. What that means is it will give me tasks to reach out to her and make sure that her experience with the product is the best possible. And that's it. Now, a couple of things to be aware with this. If I purchase a bulk kit package, it will show up in this assign to order section the month that I purchased it and the following month. So if I purchase something on February 22nd, it will show in here for the remainder of the month of February, as well as all of March to be assigned. After this time is up, it will fall out because it no longer qualifies for the Trailblazer program. So simplified, you have the remainder of the month the bolt kit was purchased and all of the following month to assign those to an order. And it's just that simple. So hopefully this tutorial's helped and we'll see you next time.